How's it going, guys? Archer Black C here, and it's finally time for our second uh, of hopefully many uh, custom Bakugan showcases. And uh, I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed the last one. I think I had a good community reaction. Actually kind of stirred a couple people into creating some more customs. And that's kind of what I wanted to do with this in the first place. So um, thank you guys for all these submissions. Uh, for all the people I talked to. And you know sharing your work with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys didn't really have to do that. But um, we're going to roll the intro and get right into it guys. We've got some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, and I'm really excited to show it to you guys. So uh, I'll see you there. All right, guys, here we are, and we have, uh, first, is a uh, creator by the name of Captain Lazy. Uh, he is, uh, or he or she, I'm not really sure, I didn't actually get to talk to this person. Um, they uh, were messaging me on Twitter and stuff. Uh, but what they did was took the new Hydranoid uh, and actually uh, repainted it, and pretty much all they did was take the green out of the design and actually turn it into red, which, if you know anything about the old Bakugan, which I don't really, but <laughs> a lot of you do, and I know that it's really important to you, uh, they made it so that it matches the color scheme of the darkest uh, Hydranoid from the original series, and that's actually really cool to me. Um, so, yeah, you change the green out and change it to, like, this red color, and the way they took these pictures, it's actually kind of like a neon red, which is pretty cool. Uh, they actually matched it to the uh, color scheme of the other one pretty well, um, they uh, they have these pictures here where they put them next to the other ones. And I actually thought that was really cool. Uh, it it uh, yeah, it just makes you really see uh, you know the similarities in it. It's actually kind of nice. Um, and I know that like there's a lot of fans of the old series, and you know people are asking like, oh, are you gonna make remake old Bakugan and stuff like that? We do have Hydranoid, um, and you know to me this is my Bakugan. This is my uh, the only. Uh, connection I have to Bakugan is the new game and so it's cool for me to be able to connect with an older audience by seeing this kind of stuff uh, because you know it connects my game with you know other people's game that you know aren't really involved in the new game so uh, I really wanted to include this in this showcase um, because it, it's just cool it kind of symbolizes a merge between uh, an old generation and a new. So I actually think this one's really nice. You can see they compared it in open form and in ball form, and then a cool picture here uh, that just shows off the model. They kind of uh, went in the lines and painted the black. Um, they gave the eyes that blue blue color. Really nice to see, uh, and it kind of brings it all together. So Captain Lazy, uh, thanks for messaging me on Twitter and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, I really like your design. So let's move on. All right, next is a familiar face. They were in the last showcase too. And this is M Stubbs. Uh, he's on YouTube, Twitter, and stuff like that, all over Discord, uh, chatting it up. And he's a Baka tuber. Um, and he actually took inspiration from the other one that I just showed you. That's why I wanted to kind of put them together. Uh, and it's, I wanted to show this because I want this to be a. Um, uh, I don't want this to be like an issue, like, oh, you copied somebody's thing. No, the, pers the person made the first one, and, you know, I want to paint my Hydranoid like this too, because I just think it's better looking. They're legal to play with, so why not? You know, it's clearly the darkest version. Um, it didn't hurt anything, and he liked the design, so he took inspiration from it. And it's not exactly the same. The feet are different. Um, he obviously, you know, it's different colors than the other person, so it's not like a straight up copy or anything like that. But you know, I, I wanted to show this because it's, it's okay to copy someone's design because you know, if you like it, make your own, it's fine. I mean, and it's not even an exact copy. So it's really cool. Uh, thank you. M stubs, uh, I hit you up uh, about it. And we were actually kind of talking about it. Uh, if I can ever get one of these darkest hydronoids, uh, I'm definitely going to be doing it to my own. So, uh, thanks for the submission, man. All right. Next we have a submission from Hayden mass. Uh, they, uh, this was kind of a while ago, uh, they took this darkest Garganoid, and if you haven't really looked at Garganoid's design, 
Um, he actually has like these little chain things on his wings, and I wanted to show this one because he brought that out really well. Um, on the wings, you can see are the little chains, and they fall all the way down to the bottom. And what he did was take like this really neon green, which is you know the darkest green, and uh, brought out those chains. He painted them so that you could see them, and you know you can really see it in ball form. It's actually really uh, really nice uh, the way it looks in ball form. It just really cuts into that black, and, and brings out so much more detail in the model. And I really like that about that. Uh, not pictured here is he has in on the inside of the wings. He was trying to um, kind of paint them silver just to kind of bring them out, and it ended up uh, I don't want to say not working, but it it didn't get the result that he planned on. But he actually got like this really soft uh, metallic, uh, like almost a fade onto the purple. So it's like a metallic silver purple on the inside of the wings. Um, I'll try to find the picture. It should be up uh, on the video that you're watching right now. Um, yeah, so really cool design. Uh, really good use of uh, the green on this figure. It's not too much, and it's definitely not too little. Um, so thank you for the uh, submission, Hayden. Uh, I very much like the design. I kind of talked to you on Discord about it. So uh, very cool, very cool. I like it. So next submission. And the next submission we have is from a Discord user called obsith i don't know his <laughs> their uh their like thing on discord is all these like crazy characters with all these lines through it and stuff so i think it's spelled obsith i don't really know but i um as i've been doing these showcases and stuff and like seeing everybody's custom bakugan i found that my favorite versions of customs are the bakugan that are painted in a fashion that is resembling the anime uh, paint style of of the figures uh, or of the Bakugan. So uh, I kind of put this picture up here for comparison. Uh, this is Aqua Serpentis. Uh, this is um, Masato uh, from the show's uh, partner Bakugan. Um, he's very cool in the show. If you haven't seen the newest episodes of the show, I highly recommend going and check him out uh, because uh, you see a lot of Serpentis in that in these in those couple of episodes. Um, and this is a really cool. Um, you know, version of that, uh, being able to see it as it is in the show, you know, the, the, the white and the, the white mouth, uh, that we don't really get in our Aquas version of it. It's kind of that light blue that, uh, comes with Aquas. So he changed it and, uh, adapted it to where it matches the anime. And that is my favorite version of custom Bakugan. Uh, I had like a, um, a Photoshop concept I was working on of a anime, uh, paint job of Lupithion and it looks really cool. Um, as soon as I get my hands on a Ventus Lupithion, I'm going to try to get that done uh, because it's just really cool. Um, there's some Bakugan I think can benefit from that, like um, Dragonoid Ultra and Ultra Trox. Uh, I think they would be really cool, uh, you know, versions of that that could get done. So if anyone wants to get on that, that'd be pretty cool. Um, you know, Dragonoid Ultra would look cool with all the black and stuff in the middle with the white and everything, something we don't get from the figures themselves. I think it'd actually be really cool. So, uh, thank you, Obsith, from this. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this one. I talked to you about it, uh, and I, I told you how much I loved it. So, I was happy to include it here on the showcase. So, I appreciate it very much, uh, and I look forward to seeing more submissions from you in the future. All right, guys, and this um, next couple, well, these next couple of Bakugan that I'm going to be showing you are a small portion from the fantastic collection by Nightmare on Discord, Instagram. She has an Instagram. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen right here. Um, if you have not seen any of her customs, she does a fantastic job uh, of being creative and uh, just, you know, disregarding the, the, like, when you look at it, you know, you expect it to be painted a certain way. She throws that out the window and completely redoes the paint jobs. And I, I really enjoy that. You know, I said my favorite, uh, you know, colorations are the ones that resemble the anime. Um, but hers are just so interesting and so vibrant. And she does a great, she has a great hand and does a great job with the paintwork on them. Uh, so the first one I'm going to be showing you here is a, a Ventus Tertonium that looks like those little lake turtles, or like, a, I don't know, I'll put a picture up uh, of one. Um, but it's got the little lines on the face and, you know, on the arms and stuff, and it the little, the little red dot on the cheeks up there. It looks like those little lake turtles, and when I saw this, I was like, wow, this is, I would never have, like, thought of this to make this actually happen. Um, and I just think it's a great, a great version of Vintus Tertonium. It's so cool. Uh, I wish I had my own. 
Um, but man, I have to show you some more of her Bakugan. So uh, let's look at what's next. We have uh, she is very good at working with Gorthions. So she this is just uh, a couple of them. She's done a, a quite a few. I'll throw them all up on the screen here. We have a Magma Gorthion, um, which is just paint job wise is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, it, you know, it, 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 <laughs> it's hard to talk about it because it's just like, yeah, that's great. When you look at it, there's not much to say other than wow. You know, just looking at the face, it just looks mean and it's got like lava on its arms. And it's like, you can imagine what this would look like. It's like, it's a boss monster from some like crazy anime RPG or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just really cool. And just the way she used the colors, like she's got this small, sh small accent of brown that makes it a more believable design. You can really see her artistic like ability in that. You know, she could have just went lava all the way around the thing, which would be dope. But she took it to another level and, you know, brought it in together and made it make a little more sense by just th just that part. Um, and then like the little hexagon designs on the, the chest plate there around the brown to frame it in is fantastic. And then just her handwork on the lava is just a absolutely stunning. It, it, it's really cool. Uh, I haven't seen any other customs like this. Um, just the effort she puts into them, you can tell just by looking at them. The other Gorthion here that you see, that's probably already cut your eye, is like, caught your eye. I say cut. I hope it didn't cut your eye. That would hurt. <laughs> the other Gorthion here is like this, uh, I, she, I saw a name for it somewhere, but I'm calling it like the, the, the Mexican skeleton <laughs> or Day of the Dead. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, what was that movie called with the, uh, the thing? Uh, I can't think of it right now, but, uh. Uh, <laughs> oh, my brain hurts. Don't worry about it. It looks like a crazy skull thing. It, it, she painted the face so that it's like a skeleton uh, in the face. Uh, she left the blue for the highlights and then did her own blue in the middle, which is kind of that um, when they do diamond uh, Aquas Bakugan, they have that metallic blue that they kind of use to accent. She kind of threw some of that in there and it makes it really come together in the front on that chest plate again. Um, and then, you know, the face of this Bakugan is really where it just takes off. It, it's got the skeleton, uh, and it's kind of like a, a Mayan, uh, Mexican feel to the design. And it's just a whole nother level. You know what I mean? I would never thought of to do, uh, to do this. And then there's a surprise to these and she does this quite often. Uh, and here it is. She uses glow in the dark paints to make these come out. So the face glows on this Gorthion and it is so cool. I wish I had one myself. Um, you know, it, all the right little pieces are the ones that are soaking up that light. And it's just so cool to see, uh, someone take this and really make it work. And, you know, people could overdo things like that, like with the glowing in the dark thing. And I just think she does a phenomenal job. And uh, these Gorthions are absolutely fantastic. Um, so let's move on. She, ha she has a bunch. It, go follow her Instagram. Go look at everything she's done. She posts all of her, uh, all of her designs uh, with multiple angles, so you can really check them out. Um, you know, and I encourage you to, you know, take inspiration from her and make your own. But the best part about it is, is that she actually takes commissions, uh, fairly cheap, from what I've heard. I, I mean, I assume that you know, eventually her prices will have to go up because there's no way people aren't going to, to bombard her with requests for these customs. I highly recommend it. My personal recommendation, our XXXC's recommendation, go check out Nightmare and message her and try to get a commission from her. Uh, there's already been a couple YouTubers who have done it. There's been uh, Briar626 has gotten a Nilius with his uh, paint scheme involved in it. So like the blue and the pink, really cool. Uh, I'll throw it up here. And then Feng Shaman, uh, I retweeted the video, so you've probably seen it already. But And I threw it in another video, actually, too. I forgot what it was about. Oh, the Chaos Trox. Uh, he got a Chaos Trox, Pegatrix, and Pegatrix Ultra. And uh, she redid the color scheme and added a couple little, like, fun little, like, hexagons in it. And, and just really brought it out. But it wasn't too much. It was very clean. And she does a very good job of keeping it clean. Um, and then... On the other side of the coin, she can do these crazy lava monkeys. You know what I'm saying? It, it, she does fantastic work. Uh, and I can't say anything else about it, except I can look at these next couple of Bakugan. So, 
The next one we have here is a Aquas Trox. Uh, very cool. Um, Y'all know I love Trox, so I had to throw one in there. Uh, it's like a more mechanical. She tied in green with the blue, which I think actually really works well because of the color she chose as the small accent, which is like this copper. And it really ties in the... the, the um, it, it makes it a little more... It pops a little more against the blue and the green because, you know, those are kind of same value kind of color kind of deals. Um, she threw in it's like some silver there to actually make it, you know, fall into that mechanical theme. So silver surrounding the eyes and then on some of the paneling on the side of trucks. I actually think it's really, really cool. Um, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to get her to make me. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I want to do or if I just want to send her something and say have fun. Um, because I, honestly, I trust what she comes up with. Uh, and again, please go check her out on Instagram because it, it's, it's fantastic. The work she does, uh, a couple more here from her, uh, this one. Now I don't want to misspeak and say that this is Bailey from the Baku nerds dragonoid, because I know she got one made that was fairly similar to this, but this is the dragonoid that I've seen from nightmare. And this is besides that, um, that uh, blue, like uh, the silver mechanical one from the guy from Japan from the last showcase. Uh, this is by far uh, one of my favorite Dragonoid customs I have ever seen. It's just, there's so much detail in it and a, a, a large amount of recoloring that just completely make this thing stand out. Um, the, the silver on the head is just what kind of, it kind of, you know, make this, makes this whole thing kind of separate itself from the other ones. And the paneling, she, she used that copper color that she used on that Trox, uh, to, and instead of all that bright yellow that we get in the Dragonoids and stuff like that, it, it, it tones it down and really makes the red pop, which is cool. But also she threw in some black to just make everything fall together. And it's like the bottom part of the jaw is black with this silver crown on top of it with that bronze horn. And it's just the head of it just makes all so much sense and works so well that it's just so cool um i think i'm going to send her a dragonoid probably because i really want one like this the best feature by far are the wings there's a flame design in the silver of the wings that that it's so small it had to take you know the the most patience and determination to get it right uh, and just a really good hand so i applaud her on her, her her handiwork here it's just great and then even in the little the little big design on the wing, she two-toned it. So it's like, it brings out the depth in the wing and it's just, it's just great. I, I'm just fangirling all over this stuff, guys. And then I have, I have another one here for you that I think my old Bakugan fans will love. This is a darkest Phaedrus that is colored in the scheme of Helios, uh, MK two. I believe the name is, uh, I'll put a picture up of Helios here. Um, but, uh, you can see it's got the red, the black, the white, and then the, the, that same copper metallic color that brings it in that she used on the, uh, shoulders and, uh, joints of, uh, the Phaedrus here. Um, and you know, that just that nice little swoosh of white on the face is a really good touch. And then the red paneling on the tail that really, you know, shows off the, the, the color scheme of Helios. And uh, it's just a, a, a very, very good job. And again, it's really nice to see a bridge between the old style of Bakugan with the new. And it, it just gives a chance for the old guys, the old guys, <laughs> the older fans uh, of the old series to, you know, grasp onto this new one and feel okay about it. Or at least that's what I feel and what I kind of want it to be. You know, I want you to accept the new game because... As I've been perusing the reddits and the discords and stuff, there's a lot of people who are like, well, I just really miss the old game. You know, I love it. And I don't blame you. I mean, it was a very catchy game. Uh, the show was very entertaining, especially at our age when we were watching it. Um, and, you know, it, it was at that time, you know, it was battling Pokemon. It was battling Yu-Gi-Oh! So they had to push themselves. And I think that the new game is actually pushing themselves, too. We have a great new card game. We have great new models. And it's nice to see people taking the inspiration from the old designs and throwing them onto these brand new fantastic models that we have. And I just think it's really cool to actually see that in action. So uh, that's all I have from Nightmare, guys. She is fantastic. Please check out her Instagram. Ask her for uh, a custom design. Support her. Uh, make her blow up. Retweet this video. Share this video. 
so that all the designers get uh, a, a look here um, and, you know, approach people about customs and stuff like that, guys. If, you don't, if you're not confident in doing it yourself, find someone who's got a good hand, you know, get what you want out of it. If I want a really cool trucks, I'm going to go find somebody who's going to make me really cool trucks. I don't want to waste my waste my trucks away on my bad paint hand. <laughs> I can do panel lining and stuff like that. I can't do to the extent of this. So that was nightmare stuff, guys. I have one little uh, special uh, thing here because it, it's just kind of on another level. <laughs> it, it's just really cool. Uh, and let's check it out. All right, and these come from a uh, another Japanese, what I'm assuming Japanese, I, I, I don't know what the characters are, I'm, I think it's Japanese, um, a Twitter user uh, by the name of LMSOS Uoman, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what that says, so, uh, so just look at it, uh, go look this person up, and this is a just fantastic uh, recolor of a Dragonoid Ultra. Um, uh, it seems to be like a complete recolor because it's either that or there's something going on. It, it's glossy, so I don't know if they put some kind of a finish on it. I don't know much about painting myself. Uh, I just like to admire these designs and what people can come up with. Uh, but they they put like a brushing of black on the red and then also uh, with a true gold uh, painted all the yellow accents on an ultra dragonoid. It really shines in ball form with the glossiness. Uh, it just makes it look like something really expensive and really special. <laughs> I would kill to have a hyper dragonoid made in this uh, fashion. Uh, it would be awesome and I would use it all the time. Uh, but it's cool that they put a, a glossy finish on it. I don't know if it's just the paint they used or if they actually did go over it with some kind of a finish. But man, uh, it, it is a very fantastic design. Uh, I shared it on Twitter. It got a ton of likes. Uh, I think someone posted it on Reddit. Got a ton of likes there. Um, so thank you to this Twitter user for doing this and showing it to us. Uh, and I think it was a great end to the showcase. So thank you guys for watching. I, I really enjoy doing these. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot lately. Um, it's just life is life and I got to do what I can do. So uh, I plan on doing this new series that I'm thinking of. And then uh, hopefully we'll have, you know, Age of Orlis coming out soon. And once that comes out, we're going to have a lot to talk about. Um, I'll hopefully be talking about a little more competitive stuff, uh, seeing that that's what a lot of people are looking for now. Uh, unboxings are getting a little dry, let's be honest. Okay, so um, let's talk about the TCG, man. Let's, let's get competitive. We're form, uh, formulating metas now. Uh, people are having tournaments and stuff as we keep going i had a couple tournaments pre-releases are coming up guys uh check out uh bakugan the soon very soon at the time of this video going out they're going to be releasing information on pre-release uh areas i'm trying to get one for myself i don't know if that's going to happen uh if it does i will let you know i'll probably also make a video on all the locations if i can if i can get a list of them uh, just so that I can make you guys aware of that because we're going to be having Age of Auralis pre-releases. And if you don't know what that is, just stay tuned. You're going to figure it out relatively soon. Um, but yeah, guys, the channel is going to be okay. Uh, once Age of Auralis comes out, we're going to be popping. We're going to be rocking. We're going to be rolling. And uh, it's going to be a hell of a time. So thank you guys for watching this showcase. I love doing these. Uh, please, if you have submissions... Find me on Discord, find me on Reddit, comment on YouTube, say, hey, I got a custom, I'll find a way to contact you, um, and send me what you got, guys. I, I mean, I love the crazy ones like this Dragonoid, but I also love just, like, some good panel lining, or, you know, I love these these anime uh, art styles of, uh, you know, adapting the color scheme to the anime. Those are my favorite. And Nightmare, um, I'm probably going to have you in every one of these showcases, because your work is fantastic, and I can't, you, you know... Uh, thank you for doing what you do <laughs> it's fantastic anyway guys thank you for watching uh enjoy the videos coming up i hope you enjoyed this leave a like uh comment what your favorites were down in the comment section talk about them scream about them say what you didn't like say what you did like and uh give the uh, creators here some praise other than that guys thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye